All right, welcome guys. In this video, we are going to be doing a line color reveal system. Uh, now, what exactly is that? Um, basically, we'll be changing the color of the arm here to have a green tint to kind of match the one from the sleeve here uh, instead of having this odd uh, brown line that should belong to the uh, color of the skin. So um, let's start with a simple one. We have the sleeve here. Um, so two methods that are uh, mostly used in the industry will have uh, the color override method, which will basically change the color of the line here uh, to have a different tint. So we're basically changing the RGB to match the one from the sleeve here. Uh, to uh, to then reveal only when the sleeve is over here. So as I move it, I'll be able to have that change. Um, another thing that we can do, and I like the second method a little bit better, so this is the one that I'll be showing um, inside of this tutorial. It's also a little bit less heavy because uh, using color overrides, especially for changing uh, the RGB of colors or modifying some of the colors that already exist inside of your palette and changing that to something else that tends to be a little bit heavier um, especially you know the more you have inside of your rig uh, the heavier it's going to become so we're trying to keep it simple over here and I'll show you uh, another method that we can use so in order to do it, we'll go inside of the arm here, which is the part that will have the line changed. Uh, so we'll go inside of here. And in the arm, we had the line and the color art over here. So for the line, what we're going to do is we're going to copy this. We'll go inside of the overlay. We'll paste it in there. And inside the overlay, I'll change the color of this line to be the same color as the vest. So going into the color, I'll simply uh, select it while having the line selected here. This will change to the different color. So now we have the line that's inside the line art, the color in the color art, and a duplicate of the line inside of the overlay. Now we don't see the overlay at the moment because if we follow this connection of the arm into our merge system, we have the color art that is being read and the line art. So the overlay is basically filtered out. It's not anywhere inside of our rig to be seen. So we'll never see it on camera unless we go and get an overlay layer. So let's go and grab that here. We'll take the same connection. So the middle one, which is my arm here, and we'll connect that in and throw it on top of the rest for now. So now we have this line here that shows on top of the rest. So this line is not a part of the merge system. It's connected directly through the composite. Um, so I may want to, uh, to use the same merge for this one because we don't want this line to appear on top of the forearm when we use the Z-depth. Right now, if I try to move this to the back, we can see that this line is showing. Um, so instead of having that, we'll actually create a composite to connect both the line art and the overlay into this port here. So let's go and get that. We'll keep the line underneath the overlay to have both layers used directly in there. All right, so now that we have that, how do we keep this line only visible when we have the sleeve on top? Well, the sleeve is already connected inside of my merge system, so it's the third connection over here. 
we have the sleeve going down into this cutter here and being invert cut by the color art. So if I want my overlay to be visible only when the sleeve comes over here, I can go and get a cutter. I'm going to invert cut this line inside of the sleeve. So I'm going to go and get the sleeve, which is right here. If I try to connect it, it's going to create a new port. We don't necessarily want that. So I'll press Alt to connect to the same port here. Now it's actually the opposite of what I want happening right now. So I can actually go and invert that by double clicking on it. Now we have the green line sitting on top and the brown line underneath. Um, so the brown line right now, which is located inside of the line art, is being read entirely underneath here. So if we want to avoid little anti-aliasing problems, it's not so visible right now, um, but there is a little bit of brown when we render out this line here. So we may want to do the same thing with the line art here, uh, just to avoid any problems when uh, we have a higher definition around this area um, to really not have any bleeding of the color underneath it. So I'll do the same thing for the line art. I'll copy my cutter and instead of uh, invert cutting it by the shape over here, I'm going to do the opposite and just have the line be cut by the sleeve. So the line will never appear inside of the shape of the sleeve right here. So I don't have a double line sitting in this position. So now that we have uh, our sleeve done, you'll be able to do the same thing over on the other side. Let's have a look at the vest. Um, we'll have to change uh, our system a little bit here. We had the belly and the vest, both sides of the vest, connecting into this uh, single comp here. Um, now this comp is going through the cutter and being cut by the color art, therefore keeping both pieces of the vest and the belly inside of this entire area. Um, all right. So if we want the color to change only when we have the vest appearing on top, we'll need the vest to be its own distinct element. So we can bring those inside of the merge system through a new connection. So again, we'll press Alt, slide over, and now we have a fourth connection inside of the group. If ever you find that it starts getting confusing as you go uh, inside of your group and you kind of forget which connections you were working on, you can always go back outside and ungroup this. So you go right click, group, ungroup, and then you'll have all of your connections. They might go a little bit far away. This is uh, uh, something that we hope to get fixed. So you can actually bring those back bring those back over here to see the full connections that we have sometimes it's a little bit less confusing we can line those up with the different pieces and we've got our auto patch here all right so the vest that we wanted to connect through a different port. We still want it to be cut by the color art, but we want to do additional changes here. So we can still use that comp to bring the vest directly on there, except that for this one, I'll go inside the torso. We'll start with the same steps as we did for the arm. I'm going to go and copy that line, paste it on the overlay, and change its color to the 
vest. So the line of the vest. Now that we have that one here, again, we're no longer seeing it because we're filtering out the overlay layer of the torso. So the torso is reading right now line art and color art. Bring in the overlay for that. Attach it to our torso. And this is going to be read at the very top of my hierarchy here. And I want this one to be invert cut. So right now it's appearing all over the place. We want that to be invert cut only when we see the vest. So cut her again, bring that in and we'll cut that by both sides of the vest. So bring that in and invert cutting it. So we swap that over. Now we have the green portion of our line here. And we simply want to do the same thing over with the other line. So the one that we have here, again, even though it looks okay in OpenGL, another good lesson is to always look at your render view. Um, if you want to see anti-aliasing, sometimes even you want to uh, boost the uh, quality of the image a little bit just to make sure. So you can go under your scene, scene settings, uh, you can go under resolution and right now it's a regular HDTV setting. You may want to go 4K even for just checking out a few little details here. Since this is a vector drawing, you'll be able to change the resolution of your scene without having to worry about losing line quality or um, any other quality for your drawings. Um, so right now, if we try to render it out, we may see a little bit of a brown line on the inside here occurring. It's very subtle, but at times, uh, depending on where your character is located, it will show a little bit more. So let's cut away this line. We'll just use another cutter, cutting away the line by the shape of the vest. And here we have it. So now if we want to make sure we can even go inside of uh, our structure here with a display just to see what we'll be seeing. Technically the line should stop at this very point here. So changing over to display three and there we go. We have our line showing only up to there and our entire torso with all of that. So let's get rid of that and looks like we're just about done with the line reveal systems. Um, so we're only going to be doing those for the vest and the sleeves. So once you guys have that set up, we can start uh, finally posing our character in the very next module. I'll see you guys there.